Hey folks, so I suppose you want your natural gas fixed today, so let's do it. This is what we got on the 4 hour chart and uh, kind of just holding above that Fibonacci level. If you look back here, this is my Black Bull Broker chart. That's at 78.6% Fib level that we've talked about many times. And not only is it a Fib level, but it's also formed a beautiful support level here. As it so happens on the 4 hour chart, it also coincides with the 20 period moving average and the 200 period moving average. What's interesting about this is that we're stuck in these two moving averages. Now moving averages, remember, these are not magic numbers. They're not magic things on your chart which tell you what's going to happen. They're not predictive in nature. They form support and resistance areas. They're a general guide for the sort of momentum and direction of the market. But they can can also act as good support and resistance levels and this confluence of the 20 and the 200 is a pretty key level and the market knows that because you can see what happened about 24 hours ago and when we touch that level which is also that 78.6 percent fib we formed this big bullish reversal candle right here on the four hour chart and we've held above there quite well and this current four hour candle is actually forming just a little spike low and just sort of meandering along uh, this, this doesn't look like very long on the on the chart, but actually it's quite a big collection of four hour candles. So this goes back quite a long way, uh, a couple of days. So on the four hour chart, it all looks pretty good, pretty constructive. We're holding above support. We're holding above those two moving averages, the 20 and the 200. We're above that support line. We're above the 78.6% FIB. Even though it's in reverse, it's not actually a support level for the way up, but it was a support level on the way down, which we've now reclaimed. So it's pretty significant in that sense. So that's all there is to really say on natural gas, kind of just moving sideways. Remember the overall picture. Please have a look at my last video on natural gas. I'll, I'll put a link up at the end of this video for the overall view and the overall strategy on natural natural gas. But at the moment, we're just kind of moving sideways, holding above support, looking pretty constructive, looking slightly bullish. Overall, we've still got $2 below us and then $1.80 and then $1.50. I'm not claiming that this market is out of the doldrums just yet. Well, it's certainly in the doldrums, but I'm saying it's not out of trouble just yet. Uh, we might still get another dip back down to $2 and perhaps even below. If we go across the daily chart, we get a much better perspective on the whole thing. We're right down to the lows. We're right near the $2 level. We're kind of stuck as low as one can really go. Uh, being at $2.22 is not very far above $2 and then $1.96 or 7 whatever that low was. So we're still right down there and we haven't seen any real intent for this market to move higher. Bear that in mind. It's easy to get confused when you look at the short-term charts and to take your eye off the, the big picture so that when you look at the short-term charts, you can't see the wood for the trees, really. This is the picture of the overall wood or the glade. When you're amongst the trees in the one-hour and four-hour charts, you can't see the overall picture. The overall picture is still pretty bearish. So in until we see some dramatic moves higher, we're still right near the bottom. Having said that, yesterday's chart was a sort of a spinning top hesitation candle. We did hold above the 20 period moving average on the day chart. So that's two days in a row now, which is pretty constructive. But above us, we've got loads of resistance, lots of work to do before we move higher. So this day chart is pretty easy to understand in terms of targets. You can see all the resistance levels stacked up above us. All you've got to do is pause this video and write those numbers down. You can see them all. And we're going to have to progressively break up through those levels in order to make progress on this price in natural gas. First target is obviously $3 right up here. That's going to be a very difficult barrier to get through. And like I said in previous videos, we could well trade between $2 and $3 for a very, very long time still to come. Perhaps all the way through the year towards the end of the year and into the winter season. Once we do get above $3, and I think we will eventually, we're aiming for $3.40, 50, 60, or 75 back in this area here, which represents the overall longer term resistance level and an area where there's going to be an awful lot of interest from buyers and sellers on both sides of the market. So that's where we're definitely going to be covering our long positions if and when we get there. We will readjust positions at $3 if we get there as well. Well, I hope you found that useful. If you enjoyed this video on natural gas and you're also interested in other and you're also interested in other instruments like commodities and stocks, give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Take care, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you soon.